The last time I did a gas mask testing video, it was requested a lot in the comments that I do Israeli masks as well as other masks that will definitely get round to doing. But seeing as I have lots of requests for Israeli masks, I'll do those first. So we're going to do a special with two masks. On the left we have the civilian mask, which I always forget the name of without looking it up. And on the right we have the military M15 mask. Now I've got the filter from the M15. It's a C2 filter which apparently according to lots of sites is a dangerous filter and I shouldn't use it but I've never seen any proof of that and it was used by enough armies to be you know considered to be an effective filter so I think it's more scaremongering than anything about chromium toxicity or whatever it's called um, this is the closest I can see to a date stamp on it it's got 92 on it and 03 uh, so it's either going to be 1992 or 2003 Maybe it was made in 92, expires in 2003, shelf life, I don't know, but we'll try that filter. And if that filter doesn't work, so I'm sure the masks themselves will work, I've got um, an old Warsaw pack filter that's a bit dented in, which I'm sure will just do the job. Anyway, I have got a filter for the Israeli civilian mask, but I'm not going to open it at the moment because it's actually um, still completely sealed and it was quite a modern filter, so there's no point wasting it for a video like this when I might actually need it at some point. Um, let's see if we can see any date stamps on the actual masks. I've covered this before in another video, but I can't remember without actually looking at the video or finding the thing on that. I think some of these had a date on the head harness. It looks like there's something there, but I can't make it out. Oh, 87. So, this is 1987 for this mask. And we'll have a look at the M15. I can see a 6 and a 9 on there, but I'm sure it's older than 1969, but maybe not. But, or more modern than 1969. That's what looks like a 75 on there. But anyway, they're both going to be pretty old masks, but they're still made to the exact same designs, these Israeli masks. So, we'll test them and see what happens. Right, we'll begin the test. We've got the Israeli civilian mask on to begin with. As you can see it's pressurised, so it's working. Whether the filter or not works, we'll find out. So, let's begin the guessing. This air freshener has just about run out, so I've got this new one. Right, that should do it. Let's time this about a minute before I take this one off. I haven't got a watch on, so I'm just going to have to guesstimate the time by using the camera clock. So far I can't smell anything. The Israeli civilian mask isn't all that comfortable, actually. It's about equal to a GP5, but it's a bit tighter around the jaw, which I don't actually like. It makes it harder to talk. The visibility is okay, about the same as a GP5. One of the better things is it does have a nose cup in the inside, so it stops it steaming up as much if I exhale. Not much uh, misting on the lenses, so that's a well-designed feature. Uh, I don't think this has a voice diaphragm as such. When the exhale out valve is underneath, probably works a bit of one, but not massively well. But so far the filter seems to be working. So. If this is the case, um, when I take the mask off, what I'll do is I'll then swap the filter to the M15. And um, yeah, we'll then try the M15. So let's see how long that's been. Yeah, I think it's been about a minute. So I'm going to take this mask off, see if it's actually going to cause me to cough and splutter, and put the uh, M15 on. Now, the M15 is right next to my foot, so I'll do that now. I have to stop the video for this bit because there's no way I can do the camera work while actually doing that but I'll let you know what happens when I take it off. Okay, I now have the M15 on. It wasn't too bad when I took the mask off so I need to definitely spray some more air freshener. But uh, the filter definitely worked on the other mask because I could definitely smell it when I took the other mask off although it wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Can't smell anything so far in the M15. 
and it's tight so the filter should still be working and it means the mask's working. This mask's a bit more comfortable. Uh, you've got better, much better eyesight on this because of the triangular lenses and it feels like a better mask. Uh, it sits more comfortably around the jaw. There's a drinking tube in this. I think there's a drinking tube in the other mask. We'll just have a look. Yeah, there's a drinking tube in both masks, so they're about equal there. Definitely can't smell any deodorant or air freshener, but Yeah, both masks seem to work. So the Israeli masks seem designed quite well. For a civilian mask, the civilian one isn't great, but as it's for civilians, it's, it'll do its job. It's a bit better than GP5, but, you know, not by much. Um, I quite like the M15 military mask. It's good. Um, it wasn't originally of Israeli design. It's copied from the uh, West German M61, I think it's called, without looking at the mask. Or it might be M65, whichever one it is, but it's a very visually similar looking mask. And then there's like the Czech CM4, that's a copy of the same mask as well. And there's also a few other masks I've seen which have copied the design. So I'll take this off now and see what happens.